Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm finally getting to um, doing another video. It's been a while, as you know, so many things to tell you, so many things to share with you. Um, I apologize if the camera seems a little bit weird, but I don't have my tripod anymore because I sent it to Paris. I don't have many of my things and the chair is a little bit uh, squiggly because, okay, so just let's, let, let me just start and say that I'm leaving in 10 days and um, I'm leaving to get married in 15 days actually. And so I wanted to share uh, my makeup, my, some of my favorites, some of my purchases, and just update you on what's going on <clears throat> in this hectic uh, time. So yeah, like I said, I don't have my tripod. My house is a mess, so behind there's like a dress and like all on my desk, there's like things I have to um, bring with me. So let me start off by saying that, um, well, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm not doing very well physically, unfortunately. Mentally, I'm like overjoyed, but I'm, um, I got a really, really terrible, backache and I think it's a it's called sciatic nerve so basically like I can't walk or sit more or yeah walk or stand more than like 10 minutes and it starts hurting and I've the today is my sixth day of and um of cortisone and uh, nothing has done like nothing has really worked so I'm getting really worried um, trying to be positive trying to be strong not doing much I want to go to the beach but as you can see I'm still pale and I can't go to the beach um, I'm gonna try and go this week just to get a little bit of color and uh, yeah so please pray like and um, just wish me well not because I mean I have to go and like do the marathon just on that day for me to be like not in pain well they can even give me whatever they want to give me but I'm not going to be in pain that day thank god my shoes which are in the back you probably can't see them um thank god my shoes are not too high so yeah that's that terrible physical conditions but hey whatever update on my hair I got it um lightened and I also got my um, extensions lightened the same color and so what I'm gonna do is I was thinking of doing like a high ponytail but then I said no maybe that's not a good idea so I'm just gonna do a low bun myself very messy not messy but just very simple and this is the color that I like uh, you can see through like a little bit my hair I like it it's light it's bright and I just got it done like a week ago not even a week ago so the color is gonna change a little bit and then uh, my makeup okay this is my eye makeup I'm gonna zoom you in later to show you but it's basically like the cut crease cut crease uh, and I put lashes I bought lashes eye lore lengthening and volumizing number 101 this is what I have on. I cut them in half, cut one, because there's a, this is a starter kit. So there's an extra one for practice. I took that extra one and I just cut it because I don't like when my eyelashes, well, I never wear fake eyelashes, but I just, I don't like the look when it goes all the way in and I don't need it because my eye is pretty nice the way it is. And then I got the lengthening 118. Now I'm going to do a little try here, trial. I'm going to put on the lengthening ones all over the uh, eyelash and then on top of that the volumizing one just at the corner we'll see how that does I don't want it to be too much because then it looks too fake it doesn't look like normal eyebrow. so I bought those then I went back to my young blood favorite counter of course and I got this guys this is the anti shine mattifier and it's like the Mali Mali beauty type of like powder that is not a powder is basically silicon and I don't use this as a powder but I'm using this as it should be used as a um, primer and it makes such a huge difference on my pores it's a little sponge I apply it with a sponge or a brush on like the uh, central area of my face and like it's totally anti-shine matter fire and it just makes your pores really really nice so 
I've been happy about that. I'm gonna use it at the wedding and then I'm, I bought together because I think I'm going to wear and it's not what I have on today but as far as like the face goes, the base goes, I'm gonna use only uh, young blood because they look amazing. I got the bronzer called Sunshine and this is it. I have a mixture of Sunshine and Caudalie also. It's a beautiful, beautiful bronzer, very reddish and I am planning on getting a little tan. So those are definitely coming to the wedding with me. Then as you know, I had bought these two, the Sigma powder brush. Uh, this is the F30 and then this is the large angled contour F40. Use this all the time, especially for my powder foundation. This is amazing. I should have bought it before because before I was using the Sephora Airbrush 55, which is great, but that one. What I am using for my bronzer, keep on looking up because there's a mirror, but whatever, um, is the airbrush, not 55, but 50. This I swapped with Michelle Makeup MLC. She had given me like the old version of the airbrush 55 and this, and this is beautiful for bronzer. And so that's what I'm using, not for contour, like a contour type of bronze type of thing, whatever. So that's that. Then another great product I wanna share with you is like two euros. Essence uh, So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter. I use this every day now that the strobing thing is like coming back in and it's just such a beautiful and I've used the MAC um, cream color bases in Hush and Pearl and this and that whatever and this is just way up there. I love it. It's a powder finish so then it just dries and it's beautiful. And then I went to Essence, uh, no, no, I didn't go to Essence, I went to um, Wet n Wild, I got some Wet n Wild after I did that, and I got this, this blush, and I love this blush, I'm really debating, I don't have it on today, but whether to wear it on my um, uh, wedding day or wear the La Femme, this is extremely pigmented, a bit iridescent, it's called Pearlescent Pink, Rose Nacré, and it's a dupe of the... NARS Orgasm, okay? So really, really liking this, uh, and it's a little bit shimmery, and that's kind of what you need. Not shimmery, but it has like a sheen. That's kind of what you need on your wedding day. And let me just get um, something to wipe off with. Um, I love it. I really, really like it. And um, I have, as far as my highlighter for my wedding, I have a little bit of the soft MAC of um, MSF Natural Soft and Gentle, no MSF, I have it here, so I'm probably going to use that as a highlighter, but with that blush, I don't, I'm not going to need a lot, so really, really pretty, and another blush that I got, okay, I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to get that to, to it now, and then I bought their um, Wet n Wild Color Con in dark brown. I really like this dark brown because I'm looking for a dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear, um, the coffee, and this is really, really good. I like it. It's soft enough, and I'm really happy about it. Then, as far as eye pencils, oh my god, like, can I just share some things with you? So, the eye pencils that I bought, well, I think I told you I bought the Young Blood Chestnut Eye Pencil, um, which is, I like it. It's not like the Double Wear, it's this right here. I'm looking for that exact dupe of the Estee Lauder, uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. So, I really like this, but it's not, not dark brown enough, but it, it goes well with like my everyday look. Um, what I did go get, because I watched Nurbur XO and she was like ranting and raving about these prestige uh, total intensity eyeliners, long lasting, and that's what I have on now, the black, I got the brown and the deepest black, yeah, deepest black, wow, these are like butter, like, this is the black, I'm gonna just, they, I swear to God, they just melt on your skin maybe a little bit too much because with like 35 degrees that we're having it's just it melts and this is the brown that I have here and I swear to god it just melts on your on your face so I would say as far as colors I'm still not really close to the um 
Estee Lauder double wear coffee but I, I think of all these three of all these four sorry the closest is um, the wet and wild one as far as color but I'm definitely I am definitely loving the intensity of these and you know like I apply this on my lash line like I did a beautiful line as you can see and then with a the felt tip liner this is a Giordano one it's not the best I also got it because of Nerva don't really like it that much um i could just go over it to do that like very cat cat eye shape i have a felt tip liner in paris young blood but that's brown and i really really like that so yeah and uh let me get to my eyes now my eyes quickly the brushes are still these ones i have a new entry and this is a paint brush and i use this and only this to do my cut crease and it makes the world of a difference so the brand is Tintaretto the number is 195 it's for watercolors aquarello and the shape is the best part about this brush is the dome shaped flat top kind of brush it's not too soft it's not too hard it does scratch just a tiny bit but it's enough because my eye, sometimes like I see like these Japanese brushes, they're like a kitten's paw really on your, on your eye, but it's not for me, it's not enough for, to blend. My eye is, I don't know, sometimes women like me, makeup just doesn't pick up, so you have to have the right tools. And just to me that brush is not very soft, but it's what works for me. So that's like my number one brush. The other two brushes that I use every day, you know, are the Everyday Minerals, the Crease Brush and the Kabuki Brush. And this is what I work with to achieve this beautiful eye with. And then like as an all over base, I bought, I didn't buy this. This came with my palette. And by the way, I'm not really using this palette. This is the Wicon. It, but it's a beautiful palette so um yeah definitely liking that but not using it because i'm into this cut crease uh type of thing and to do the cut crease you may say what are you using well i'm using the sonia kashuk um matte palette and the colors that i'm using are this one goes first then this one goes second always only in the crease because you have to lift the eye so we're going to from like very light to a medium dark so this one goes first this one goes second and this one here which is like a reddish brown goes third so basically it's like one two three and also to give it that last color of depth which i love which is what i'm i have here now my favorite color in all the freaking world and you know is espresso i've had this color and it's really weird don't think i'm gross but this exact pen for like the past 20 years and it doesn't finish i got it in canada mac and it's still like blendable it's still beautiful it doesn't give me any irritation but as you see this is my last makeup quad mac makeup quad eyeshadow and i'm trying to finish these off so uh, shroom, mylar, uh, patina, and um, espresso. So I'm looking for a dupe for espresso and I found it. And that's the last step of my eye look, especially for my wedding. So what I'm also gonna get, before I get to this, and what I'm also gonna get is, I'm actually looking for a dupe for MAC Uninterrupted or Bobbi Brown Camel, which will go in my crease. But for now, I'm not like obsessed about it because this, these three colors from Sonia Kashuk really do that blending part very well. But the reason why I wanna get Camel is because uh, Nerve rants and raves about this. Okay, and the other color that she used, and I bought because of her, that is a dupe for uh, the Espresso by MAC is CoverGirl. This is the, uh, it's called Coffee Shop, I believe it's Coffee Shop, yeah, um, 260, yeah, Coffee Shop Cover Girl Eyeshadow, because my friend Amanda, my BBF, you know, BBF, my BFF, um, went to the States, because she's American, and I asked her to buy, uh, buy me some American products, and um, Nurber XO always rants and raves about this palette, especially this brown. Well, what do you know? It's exactly the same, and now I'm gonna swatch it. 
it's exactly the same because the brown espresso is a warm but the, it's weird it has some like purpley reddish tint that goes well I've been wearing it for 20 years for Christ's sake and you know like it's just I don't know and of course being 20 years old it's not as vibrant I guess as it was so there is a little bit of a difference here this is a cover girl and this is the espresso but to tell you the truth I prefer the cover girl because it has a little bit more of a cool kind of um purpley reddish kind of brown that this is what I have in my crease is perfect perfect for closing this look so super duper happy totally I'm telling you to get the quad and what I'm the white that I have on my lash line and here in the inner corner is the white from this palette and it's amazing amazing i love it i love it love it so and then i also have as a blush the other this is a uh, cover girl insta cheekbones 240 sophisticated sable what beautiful like colors and i just have this middle color on my cheekbones not on my cheeks really and I love it. I love it really, really nice and natural. So I'm so happy about my purchases. And as mascara, I got her, I asked her to get me the CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara. And that's what I have on. And it makes like the hugest difference. I don't have it on on my bottom uh, lash line, but um, I wore this. Uh, on my mom, um, applied this on my mom because she has problems with her eyes watering and stuff and it didn't give her any allergies, it didn't give her any problems and the eye makeup stayed on. So loving this, loving this together with my um, eyelashes. Uh, I didn't finish by saying that also as a base, um, I use, I'm finishing this up and I'm going to use it last for the wedding. This is the Benefit Eye Bright and that's what gives me that beautiful contrast and that bright lid and under the brow bone because without this and just, I only, if I only use the MAC Paint Pot, which I'm finishing, so I'm trying to finish this and it's going to finish soon, but as a base I use this and then um, I powder, you have to powder these and I use this and then I go over it with this to brighten it because this has like a pink. So this is what makes the difference on my eyes. And then right above the like black eyeliner, I take this kind of sharp um, angled brush and I go back in with the pink just to define. And that's what makes the difference, okay? And um, eyeliners, I also bought this eyeliner, which I will use. I go on top of the black. I go with this eyeliner, which is an auto automatic eyeliner by Wicon. It's number, uh, it's number, it's a color purple because, now you might say, why are you wearing purple? Well, because I'm gonna wear the brown. I mean, I'm gonna wear the black, but on top I'm gonna wear the purple because there is some purple in this brown. It's really crazy, but it all just ties together, believe me, and really, really happy about it. Um, oh, for those prestige um, eyeliners, the uh, sales assistant told me that I had to buy, had to, this um, pencil sharpener because they are so soft. This is a specific pencil sharpener for the prestige eyeliners. So I'm really happy and I bought it and it works really. I didn't try it with a regular um, like sharpener, but it does do the trick, the trick, the trick, uh, sorry. And, and I'm also, if I don't do this whole look because it's summertime, I don't, you know, it's hot and stuff. What I do is that I whipped out this mousse kind of soft eyeshadow from Wicon and it's like one of the most beautiful colors on earth. It's like a pink champagne and this once it's on, it doesn't budge and, um, it's the perfect color for the eyelid. And I smudge the Wet n Wild black um, eyeliner on the lash line with this and it's just like amazing, amaze balls. Um, as concealer, I'm still using my Kat Von D. This thing will not finish and it's like amazing and it doesn't crease and it's the perfect like consistency and oh my gosh. Um, uh, by the way, and by the way, by the way, the other, like, my top all-time favorite 
eyeliner is the Maybelline Master Drama Coal Liner in Black together with the felt tip. But as you know, I can't buy that. So that's why I was looking into the prestige. Va bene. Okay, so I told you everything. The last thing I want to tell you about is my lips. So this is basically the color that I'm going to have on my wedding day. So this is the liner that I love and I bought it at Essence. I normally buy the Essence one in the nude. I really like it. This is called 12 Wish Me Rose and it's divine. And it's they are soft as hell and I need this color. This is like I don't even know how to describe. It's like a confetti rose that's bright. And I had this MAC lipstick. It's one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. And I'm going to like finish it because I have it. I'm not going to give it away. Um, and it's called uh, Cream Sheen Peach Blossom. And I think I'm going to wear this instead of the, together with this um, lip liner and it's the lip combo that I have on now and I think it's like the perfect wedding day color for me. So this is Peach Blossom together with this liner and I just love it. So it, what I could do is I go over it with like a lip gloss or something or the Clarence Instalite to give me like some touch of light. Let me do this now. There we go. Just a little bit. And that's it. And so kind of like, this is not my face makeup, but definitely my eye makeup is going to be this. My lip makeup is going to be this. And I'm just happy to be sharing this with you. And um, okay, so I don't want this to be too long, but um, it is long already. So I'll just stop it. Oh my God, my hair, I forgot. Anyway, okay. My hair, I bought uh, the this is Alterna Ultra Hold Hairspray and the Living Proof Weightless Styling Spray. And this is what I have. This one I ha have in my hair. Um, I'm going to do my hair my own. And then I'm gonna, I bought also, let me see. I also bought this. It's in the bathroom, but it's the Big Sexy Hair um, Get Layered by, I don't know, Big Sexy Hair. And it definitely, definitely makes a difference. And it gives, like, look at the consistency that it gives. And I love this. I bought this on Beauty Bay, never again, because it took over a month and a half to get here because of, like, problems with, like, these hairspray stuff. So never again, Beauty Bay. I paid, it, I paid an arm and a leg for those, like, hair things. And it's crazy. Crazy! But, hey, it's my wedding day, so um, I really don't care. So if I had to pick from all these products, I'd say what to buy. This brush from Sigma, the CoverGirl uh, mascara, and my favorite of all time, this quad because of the brown, and oh, and the um, geez, the mattifier. Wow, wow, the mattifier. And I must say also these pencils from Prescript um, from Prestige. Wow, yeah, great. So yeah, let me do, just do a close up. Uh, okay, I think that you can see. Okay, so, so these are my eyes. And that's like, I have to like go down the crease, the white. I mean, it's like very up close here, so it's not gonna look that nice, but definitely see. And then you can see, let's see. You can see, let's see. Focused. I hate these camera. Um, yeah. So this is the espresso, and this is the Cover Girl. See the difference? This is the purple. You see, it's very similar. It has a little bit of purple, even though it's a brown. It's that beautiful color, like rose gold. And these are all the various um, browns that I got. I don't remember the order, but if you remember, you can see. These are the lips. Uh, oh my god, yeah, so that's it guys. Oh my god, I'm getting married in like 15 days. Hectic, hectic. Um, getting a little bit nervous because I'm not there to be able to organize and do stuff, but hey, it's all good. My future hubby is being the nicest person on earth. He's taking care of everything and I couldn't be prouder of him. Um, he's under a lot of stress too. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, we, it's not all about being like lovey dovey right now because we have so many things to organize. I think the camera's a little bit um, off. Whoops. But um, yeah, we're gonna do everything. I can't wait to get into my new apartment and like set up a makeup station um, for you and for my videos. Another special thing I wanna share with you is that I'm going to start my own jewelry, jewelry line and this is the inspiration behind it. Uh, this is my special necklace that I made with these beautiful Mexican fish enamel and um, so I'm gonna start my own uh, jewelry line and you know Paris has the like I have the possibility in Paris of doing many things and so why not I'm going back to my creativity because as you know I'm a textile designer I've always worked well I worked in the past in art and fashion and then makeup and now I'm going to start with jewelry. So just wanted to um, give you a little heads up that once I go to Paris, I will be featuring pieces. It's gonna take me a while, obviously, but you know, since you guys are so nice to me and you've been following me for all these years, I just wanna tell you um, about everything that's happening. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please help me get better with like your positive energy because I feel great, I feel happy. Um, for Christ's sake, I'm getting married in Montmartre with a beautiful man, but this pain on my leg is uh, definitely bringing me down. Um, so yeah, let's, let's pray guys and girls and everybody. And next time I will make a video, I will be in Paris and I can't wait to tell you all about the wedding, show you the pictures and tell you about the makeup and the hair and the whole day. So guys, I love you all. Thank you for sticking with me for all these years because there are some women who have been with me since the first video. I love you so, so much. All of you. Vi adoro tutte. Je vous aime tous. Parce que j'ai beaucoup de, de femmes euh, euh, qui me suivent euh, en France aussi. Alors bonjour à vous. Buongiorno et, et grazie à toutes vos italiennes qui me suivent et aussi de l'Italie. Parce que j'ai aussi des femmes italiennes qui me suivent. Merci à tous mes Américains, Canadiens, Australiens, tout le monde. Merci, merci, merci. Et je vous reverrai à um, Paris comme Madame et pas Mademoiselle. Anymore. Bye, guys. Love you.